One of the main drivers of species decline is land use change. This includes changes to wildlife-rich habitats and also development upon managed land, like farmland, which animals have adapted to. It is often hard to know how development may affect sites, habitats and species, particularly if the developer does not have an understanding of ecology or environmental policy and legislation. Furthermore, it is UK and EU law to consider the impacts of a development on certain sites, habitats and species. Many applications for development are refused because they do not consider these impacts. This is where the Wildlife Assessment Check comes in. The Wildlife Assessment Check is a free and easy to use online tool. It assesses a proposed development before an application is submitted to see whether protected sites and species may be affected, if expert ecological guidance is required and whether more detailed ecological surveys need to be done. But what is the assessment looking for? By inputting your location, the tool scouts for nearby SSSIs, sites of special scientific interest, local or national nature reserves. After answering some questions about the proposed development, the WAC will highlight potentially vulnerable species. Examples could be bats roosting in buildings or trees, birds nesting in trees or woodland, or other animals, plants and insects that might live on or near your proposed development site. The tool indicates whether a more thorough ecological appraisal is required and automatically generates a summary of results which can be passed on to a consultant ecologist. It provides guidance for the ecologist about the surveys that are likely to be required. This saves a lot of money, time and unexpected late design changes for the developer as the proposal is not sent back and forth between them and the local planning authority. Let us take a successful example, this woodland retreat. This is a two-storey house surrounded by lush woodland holding many important species. The application was accepted because of the careful planning and care the developer demonstrated for the surrounding nature. Moreover, the applicant stressed the importance of their tree and ecology surveys to help guide their design process. A nearby project was refused planning permission partly because no wildlife assessment was completed, wasting money and time. The owners of the successful project, however, were able to enjoy their new woodland home, both living alongside and respecting the beautiful local environment. For more information, visit the Biodiversity in Planning website.